you can make high quality faceless YouTube videos in just a few minutes with no camera, no, no microphone, microphone, and no need to even write a script. Right now, you can automate every single part of your content creation process to make more videos in less time. I'm going to show you how to generate an automatic YouTube script using ChatGPT, and then I'll put the entire video together using the text-to-speech tools on Veed.io. So first, we need a good video idea. I'm going to make a video for my history channel, so let's use ChatGPT to brainstorm some different options. What are some great YouTube video topics about ancient history? So straight away, you can see that it's giving us lots of different options. You've got the rise and fall of ancient civilizations like the Egyptians. You've got the history and significance of ancient landmarks like the pyramids of Giza. Now, these are all very broad suggestions. So what I'm going to do is take one part of this answer, let's say the Egyptians. And now I'm just going to type in what is something that most people don't know about the ancient Egyptians? So by using a better prompt, the AI is now giving us a much more interesting answer. One thing that many people may not know about the ancient Egyptians is that they had a highly advanced and complex system of medicine. Now this is definitely something that we can make a video on and I'm going to turn this fact into a YouTube short. Now, ChatGPT is based on an internet snapshot from 2021. So when you give it YouTube short space prompts, it doesn't give you back the best results. But luckily, TikTok is basically the same style. So let's just copy that answer. And now I'll type in, write me a fast paced TikTok script based on this fact. And I'll paste the answer in there, hit enter. And you can see that it's now written me a full script with the right structure for this type of video and it even gives suggestions for which shots to show on screen. Now, this script is not bad, but I wanted something a little bit shorter than this. So I'm just going to go back and edit the prompt slightly. Write me a fast paced and short TikTok script based on this fact. Paste it in again. And that is now generating the script that I'm going to use. Did you know that ancient Egyptians had advanced medical knowledge, brain surgery, limb replacement, they could do it all. So now to make the actual video, let's head over to veed.io, which has two specific tools that are gonna make this part of the process really, really easy. It's got a full built-in stock footage library and a realistic text-to-speech generator. Once you've logged in, go to new video, create project, and I'll start with a blank canvas. And the first thing that we want to do is change the video canvas to the right size. At the moment, you can see it's a widescreen 16 by nine shape. So if you're making a normal YouTube video, you can just stick with this. But I'm gonna change mine to a YouTube short and I can do that just by going to the drop down menu like so. And now let's add some voiceover. And remember, we're not using a microphone for this. Just go to audio, then text to speech. Now you can choose a language from the first drop down menu. And in the second menu, we can choose from lots of different voice styles. They've all got different names and you can preview them by pressing play like this. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I like that. So all I need to do now is copy the first line of my script from ChatGPT and paste it into the text box here in Veed. And again, we can now listen to a preview of it. Did you know that ancient Egyptians had advanced medical knowledge? That sounds good to me. So let's get that added to the project. And you can see that the blue voiceover file is now sitting down in the timeline. So next, we need to add some video. And again, we're not using a camera. Go to media, find the stock footage section, hit search, and you can literally just type in whatever you need. So I'm gonna look for Egyptian, and you can just choose from any of these clips. There are thousands of them for all sorts of different topics. And by clicking on one, it just adds it down into the timeline where I can then move it around the canvas to show what I want to on screen and trim it down in the timeline to fit my video. So basically, I'm now gonna go through my entire script from ChatGPT line by line and put it into the voice generator. I'll then cover that voiceover with enough stock footage until the whole video is assembled. I'm also gonna add some music by going to the audio tab. And just like with stock video, we can search through the audio library and find the right style that we need. Now, another essential thing for YouTube shorts is subtitles because they really do help with engagement. And the cool thing about Veed is that you can automatically generate subtitles for your video instead of adding them in line by line. Just go to subtitles, auto subtitle, choose the clip you want to transcribe, hit create subtitles, and in just a few seconds, they'll be automatically added to my video, which saves so much time. 
I can then change the style of my text with some cool animated presets. I can change the color, I can add a drop shadow, and it applies my styling to all of the text in the video, which is again, a huge time saver. So that has honestly only taken me about 10 minutes to make this video. And all I need to do now is go to export, export video, let it render out quickly, and we can now have a look at the final product by pressing play. Did you know that ancient Egyptians had advanced medical knowledge, brain surgery, limb replacement, they could do it all. I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm just gonna go to download and download it as an MP4. And I'll just go ahead and upload that straight to my channel. And now we just have a few more things to add. Back in ChatGPT, I'm gonna type in, write me a clickbait YouTube title based on this script and I'll paste my script into there. And there we go, we've got lots of really great title ideas. I'm also gonna get it to generate me a description filled with keywords for SEO, and we may as well get some tags for me to use as well. So with all of that added, the video is now online and you can check it out down in the description below. Now, if you want to see which prompts I use to create my history channel from scratch using ChatGPT, then you should definitely check out this video next, and I'll see you guys in the next one.